Good morning. Welcome everyone. Um, announcements for today. Today your journal assignment is to draw something related to space. And um, I also realized I forgot to share the picture of the extra activities. So today there'll be two pictures of extra activities if you want um, to do those, any of those at home. And um, today's science they're not really experiments, I guess. The uh, germ one yesterday was kind of, the the next two are more just fun, messy activities. Um, so for today's, you will need cornstarch and water and a tray, a bowl, um, something to, you know, keep it from being super messy. Um. I think that's it for the announcements. I'm sure I'll remember more as soon as we get started. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, you guys. Yesterday was Monday, a sunny but chilly day. Um, so that means today is, let's see, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Uh, we are still in the month of May, counting down our last days of school. I think we're at 14 more days of school. Oh, I thought I lost my board. Okay, just peeking out the window right now. It looks like our sunny streak is coming to an end. It looks cloudy out today. Uh, I don't know if you can read this. Is anybody, oh, this one. Anybody know what number this one is? See how many days of May we've had so far. Can you help me count? One, two, three, four. Five. Five days in May so far. But we've only had three school days. So let me color our next square. The stool I have this sitting on is crooked, so it bumps the camera. And now I lost my crayon. Okay. Look at that. Black is still the shortest right now. But tomorrow, black and red are going to be the same. And then we'll have poor red again. Thank you, Archie. Okay, review of our shape. Last day with the circle. We're going to do a new shape tomorrow. Um, you find any circles either when you are um, outside or just in your house. See what you can find. I need to start taking some of this stuff back to school. Okay, and then our number for today... And after tomorrow, we're gonna, I'm gonna start writing out some of the bigger numbers so we can practice those. The number eight, eight, and we got a circle and a circle. And then we have our dots again, and we count each of these two times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Help you remember what number this is. Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, our letter for today, you guys, we're almost to the end of the alphabet. Um, so once we hit Z, which I think W, X, Y will happen next week, um, we will do a little, like a short little review every day, but then we're gonna start doing words. So when we take letters and we put them together, they make words, and once we have a bunch of words we know, we can make sentences and stories and, <clears throat> excuse me, all of that. So that'll be cool. All right. So today our letter is W. W makes the w -w -w for water and Wednesday and week. Do we have any letter shout outs? I don't think so. I don't even think anyone has a W in their name, in their first name. So our W, we start at the top and we go down, up, down, up. This is the capital W. The lowercase w is exactly the same, just smaller. Um, and our sign language for W is, it looks like a W. How cool is that? Oh my goodness, I forgot. W for white. Our color for today. Um, tomorrow we're gonna do a new color. So we're reviewing white. W-H-I-T-E spells 
white. Okay. Did the colors. Um, let's do a little bit more sign language. Um, we're going to review some of the kind of school things we've done. Uh, so we did read, book, and we take the knowledge from the book to our head, which is learn, learn. And so if I wanted to say the word student in sign language, uh, okay, so learning and then this means person, I guess, person. So student and teacher is kind of this up here and then person. trying to do sign language from pictures and you know because you're moving your hands it's hard to do it from just pictures so I have to take a second so sorry um let's see another one we've talked about friends friends we are all um missing our friends right now I miss you guys too okay we'll stop there with that and then we have Bible story. Um, wow, I got through this really fast. I feel like I forgot something. Nope. Uh, starting maybe tomorrow, I have some chapter books home with me. So what I might do is read a chapter on here, and then I'll still do our regular story time. Um, sorry, there's some weird noises coming from upstairs. So I will let you know if I decide to do that. I... I think maybe tomorrow we'll start doing that. Okay, so we're still talking about Abraham. And Abraham is going to have some very special visitors come to see him. So one hot day, Abraham was resting near his tent and he heard footsteps. Three men were standing nearby. Abraham went out to greet them. Would you like to rest in the shade? We have plenty of cool water to drink. Can I get you something to eat? Abraham told Sarah about the visitors. He asked her to make a tasty meal. So I want you to note that Abraham and Sarah are getting old. They're like grandparents age. They have gray hair, white hair. So just keep that in mind. While they were eating, the three visitors shared some exciting news. They said, your wife is going to have a son. Sarah heard what they said and she laughed thinking I am too old God asked Abraham why did Sarah laugh anything is possible with the Lord so there's Sarah laughing sure enough the next year Sarah had a baby boy and they named him Isaac oh hey we know an Isaac Okay, so that's the end of our Bible story for today. Thank you again for joining me today. Um, I Tomorrow we'll start reading a chapter book, so be ready for that. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do our little announcements. Oh, I got it. There's a bug. <laughs> uh, I'll start with our announcements and then read a chapter in the book, and then we'll do all the other stuff. How's that sound? Sounds good. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's do our prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Be with us as we work and play. Bless family, friends, and teachers too. Bless all of us and all we do. Amen. All right, you guys have a wonderful Tuesday and I'll see you tomorrow.